Growing concern of world leaders and development partners in the agricultural sector is the growing population, climate change and other environmental challenges that are affecting food production. According to United Nations, world population will reach 8.5 billion by 2030 and to increase further by 9.7 billion in 2050. This worrisome situation is attracting development partners like Sasakawa Africa Association, a non-governmental organization, to train and support rice farmers with new variety and technology to increase yield and productivity. Our role is to see how we contribute to poverty reduction, to increase the productivity of food, food crops particularly, and to create wealth for resource-constrained farmers. 45 years Mary Daniel, a mother of seven who have been farming rice for over 10 years in Asakyo community in Lafia local government area of the state, and 35 years Tabita Meshak, a rice miller, narrates how Sasakawa improved their lives. For Obadiah James and Musa Oyeka, the training did not only change their orientation but improve their income and better their lives. Have given us new practices and we are into it and we have seen the different yields, I mean great yields in our farming activities. Before we farm anyhow, we manage the farm anyhow and we don't manage the farm properly from the beginning to, the, to, to, to harvesting time. But now, the system is quite a different one altogether. Women group in Lafia, popularly known as Anya Oza, who were trained on food nutrition and value addition, describes Sasakawa as a change agent who impacted positively in their lives. They have taught us in so many ways, which have improved our staying, our, our moving in everything uh, groups. That is why you can see how we have displayed all these things. In Kwandere, Lafia local government and Nunku community in Akwanga, women who received training from Sasakawa on rice processing, maize and soya beans farming, as well as ways of improving soil fertility, shared their experiences. They arrived, before their arrival in Nunku, when we cultivate 50 by 50, we hardly get one bag of maize in it. After spending two bags of fertilizer, in all the places visited, NTA News observed that Sasakawa has provided different forms of interventions like the Rice Processing Center, which is at the foundation level in Asakyo, in Lafia, Abari Solomon, NTA News.